Has the correction started? Here's what you need to know before the bell. The big question right now is after a pretty strong run since the beginning of January for the markets, has that correction finally started? You know, we talked last week uh, particularly about the kind of weakness coming into the markets after markets had got extremely extended here to the upside. Of course, we've had a very strong rally since January, but really that rally started all the way back in October. It's been a fairly consistent rally since then. Yes, we've had a few little hiccups and bumps along the way, but the trend has continued higher. A lot of positive things occurring. We talked about last week, of course, the 50 day crossing above the 200 day moving average. On Friday, the market came down, tested support at the 20 day moving average, bounced off that. Markets look to open up a little bit higher this morning. We'll see if they can hold on to it. But the big thing right now is, of course, watching our sell signals because those have been really good indicators about kind of risk on, risk off really all of last year. And it kind of really helped mitigate some of the risk in portfolios. Right now, we are at the point of triggering a sell signal on our MACD. That's just the, the normal moving average convergence divergence indicator uh, that's triggering an early signal our money flow indicator has already triggered a signal as well now both of those have been pretty good indicators about weakness in the markets near term so despite the fact that markets are looking to open up a little bit this morning pay attention to the risk here just a bit markets are very extended there's been a big move and this week we also have CPI. So again, if CPI comes in hotter than expected, in other words, inflation seems to be a little bit more sticky, then that's going to prompt the Fed to continue being aggressive about rate hikes. That would probably weigh a bit on the market. So again, sometimes these indicators when they're very early in the signal, aren't completely reliable. Things can kind of happen from one day to the next. In other words, just because it's triggered doesn't mean the market immediately corrects. But more often than not, over time, these signals tend to give a pretty good indication of where there's potential for market weakness. So again, be a little bit careful chasing particular stocks or the markets here, particularly if you're kind of indexed investing. Might want to take a little bit of time, just kind of step back, save up some cash, wait for a correction here, a little bit better opportunity on a risk reward basis to put capital to work. Outside of these signals though, everything else remains in a fairly bullish track. There's no big reason here to be overly cautious about markets just yet. If we break support levels at 4,000 on the S&P, we'll have a different conversation at that point. So it does look like right now that the correction has started in the market. So be patient before putting a little bit more money to work. I'm Lance Roberts, and that's what you need to know before the bell.